always a quick thought or two, and then we'll take questions. Boy, that right there was a lesson on how to how to guard, how to play tough, and to do it on every possession, not just some of the possessions. That's the one thing that I admire about Wright State. They're a team last year that struggled, um, but made a commitment to not being outworked, to not allow people to to get easy shots, and you can really see how that commitment has paid off. And they are, in my opinion, the toughest man-to-man -man team because they don't take a possession off. And they play the game simply. Boy, they touch the post, it comes back out. Uh, you know, do they make some turnovers? Yeah, they, they do a few of those, but they, they work five guys together better than what most teams in, that we play so far this year. And it's... Uh, it caused a lot of problems for us. Uh, the, the, the driving lines that we have normally were not there. Um, and when we did attempt to make shots or make passes to the perimeter, they're coming from the perimeter rather than from inside. And I thought the one part of the game where we made a push, we were able to get the ball inside, got a couple shots, got a couple kickouts, and those shots are easier to make and gives us a little more of space at longer closeouts. As a result of their tough, their tough defense and their five against their five men guarding the ball, just made it a tough night for us. That one just kind of had a disjointed feeling from the start. Didn't it? Well, it's what you expect from right there. They're just not going to allow you to play a certain way, and they, their rotations are clean. And like I said, they're 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 consistent, and well, we knew it coming in, and. We got it. There's some chances there in that first half. Where we were able to keep it there, but we, but obviously, we're not being able to finish from the free throw line, and to get the ball inside, it's tough to sustain that. And they did a much better job of scoring in paint uh, that way than we did. You had balance tonight. I think nine different guys scored. But right. Weren't able to get a game like you got from Harzma the other night. That's if this was one of the nights where you really needed that. that and that, that's, that's kind of been the story for us. We just haven't had, you know, those two guys that consistently have given, been able, one of the two been able to give us a, an exceptional night with three other guys giving you that round nine to ten a game. And when you play a team like Wright State that's very stingy, it's going to be, it's, it puts a lot more pressure on you on the defensive end. Um, they were patient. And... But at the end of it, it again, it comes down to guys just attacking, attacking the rim and getting to the paint and getting extra shots. And uh, we weren't able to, to really corral that. 11 second chance points really sums it up. You guys had 16 turnovers today. Is it, would you attribute that more to Wright State's defense or just the theme of the season? Got a little sloppy in the beginning of the game there, so I don't know if that was great defense on, on both on both parts. I mean, I thought the ball was flying around the gym on both parts. Um, I just think, you know, you, you quick turnaround, guys come in, and sometimes guys just get a little sloppy. I, that, that's when I watched Wright State, some of the turnovers they had, and I look at some of the turnovers we had, pretty similar. Um, but then some of the others were, again, a couple offensive fouls, those are turnovers. I mean, when Demetrius Harris fouls out, or when he's fouling in the post, those are create those are turnovers. So a lot of the some of the turnovers weren't by passing the ball; they were person to foul turnovers. James Harmsma, uh, Demetrius Harris. Uh, you takes away some of those, that brings it back. That brings that number down. But um, 16 turnovers is too high. Uh, we've been struggling with that this season. We've always been a team around 12, 12 turnovers, and we're, we're higher than that this year. So, partly because we can't really just get the ball inside and play, play like we really want to play inside out. So it's a lot of perimeter attacking, which then creates the balls in our perimeter and the hands of our guys a lot. With a lack of subs, it's gonna, you're going to have some sloppy play, and we seem to have that in the second half. Did you like the effort overall? I, I, I saw guys trying, but, you know, I, I guess I just – the, the effort hasn't – I guess I see some guys that, you know, when you're losing some games, your confidence goes down, so you seem to be a step behind. Do they want to do it? Yes. So it's, it's, funny, it's hard to answer that. Do I know I have a bunch of guys that want to do it the right way? Yes. 
do sometimes I see effort that's a little, are we a step behind? Yes. So is it effort? I think we just have a bunch of guys right now that are wanting to do something, but they're, they're kind of trying to figure out how to do it. And at times, our effort looks a little lackluster.